All right, so I'm taking a look at this stuff down here, and this is why you have to dig through boxes, take stuff out. Uh, I took everything out of here. There are stencil patterns. Uh, there's not anything in there I really want, but keep looking, keep looking, and this is gold right here. All right, everyone, get ready. We are about to go on an exciting estate sale adventure off the beaten path. This one is different than others you've seen. All right, so here we go. We have got to go where this car is going into this secret hidden driveway area. So they even have an attendant here. So we got to head down this way. And uh, this is not something we normally have to do for estate sales is go down a hidden driveway and over a one way bridge <laughs> so, it's, so super exciting look at this we've got a little stream down here as well it's pretty cool over there some caution tape very cool all right now we got to get to some parking all right so we're all parked and now we just got to wait an hour uh to get into the sale so uh had to get here early for this one uh parking was uh, definitely tight and restricted. So uh, that's gonna be important when we have all those boxes and we need to leave. All right, so this is the view. That's the old farmhouse right there. And then we've got some uh, additional like barn areas right here that we're gonna explore. So we're down to about 45 minutes left and uh, I'm looking forward to going in there. Now, it's a hot day. It's gonna be in the 90s and there is no air conditioning apparently in the house. Trying to get into more art, so this is perfect. Great price, by the way. Nice country scene. And for those who keep asking me why I bring big boxes and not IKEA bags, no IKEA bag is gonna hold this, but this box will. I do very well with trivets, so. I'm definitely gonna go for these. The price is definitely right on them. So, there's a whole bunch of them priced really good. So, just grab all these. This is kind of interesting and different. Uh, so, I'm definitely gonna grab the pair of these. Only six bucks, I mean, this is solid cast iron and really nice decorative pieces. So. Gotta pick these both up. Alright, let's see what's inside of here. Ooh. Silver plate. Flatware. By Rogers. This is good. Price is right. Pick this up. I have to get this thing. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. Like two bucks? Wow. It's incredible. It's really strong and solid. It has a chip on the ear, but I actually don't think it detracts that much from it. So for two bucks, I'm going to grab this thing. Someone's going to want this. Look at this thing. Wow. Well, here, do you notice what's wrong with it? Real quick, if you quickly look at it, do you notice? Oh, the ear. The ear, yeah. It looks but okay, that's what I think. It, yeah, it kind of blends with the stripes. Yeah. All right, buddy. Coming home at prime time. Is that okay? You're coming home with me? 
All right. <laughs> wow, he's real excited. Can't wait to meet Daisy. I don't know what she's gonna think when she sees you. What? Oh, all right, I'll give you a double tap. <laughs> All right, definitely gonna go for the rooster. I always say go for rooster stuff, so we're gonna get that. And this one, I'm gonna dedicate this to Noel, Farm Girl Scavenger. Anytime you see these old recipe boxes with the recipe cards, just pick it up as long as the price is, you know, somewhat decent and four bucks. I mean, this is so cool, so vintage. I've had this box before, by the way, and it sells well. Look for that label right there, the Weiss label. That's what you want to look for. All right, this is a good cookbook to grab if you come across it. It should sell for between like 15, 20 bucks. It's from the 1930s, so nice pickup. All right, I don't think we can miss with this one uh, for five yes. bucks. Someone from Oregon would love it. Someone who uh, collects like fruit boxes would love it as well. So uh, it also has the Welch's grape juice bottles in it also, which is awesome. So we're gonna pick this one up, sweet. This one is missing the wheel, by the way. Do you need help getting one? Grabbing something up there? You want these right here? Uh, the far ones over the far ones? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it just cost you five dollars. <laughs> uh, right. It pays to be tall. Look at that. One handed. One handed right there. <laughs> and left handed. Yeah, I, I do have big hands, you're right. Alright. Um, it's two bucks to use the box, by the way, for leverage. I'm just <laughs> can you use it? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna pass on this one because the wheel is missing, but I like this one here. Um, it's made by uh, Wolf Creek, and that sells well, so we'll get that one. And, and then I also like a little milk jug here, so grab them both. All right, always look for cast iron miniatures, and these are really nice. I like these little Amish figures. So sitting on this bench, they do come off. So I gotta grab these, but I gotta keep it separate in the box from, from glass, because we don't want to bang it against the glass. So we'll keep it in a safe place. All right, don't forget to look at tools. Uh, so we're gonna grab this one, nice vintage one from Rochester, New York. So I like this. Again, showing the advantage of the multi-box system. Then uh, we're gonna grab this cool little spoon. This is two for three, so don't forget to look up top. So get this off somehow. There we go. Get my other one right here. No, there's another one. All right, get them both. I've done well selling this little cat thing, so we're gonna grab this one. I uh, sold a bigger one recently, but it's kind of cute, so. Well, put this by this cat. All right, good. More miniatures, more cats made in Japan, which is perfect. You always want to look for stuff made in Japan. So all three of them are like that. And then we have more of these wood figures. Uh, this time we have the man and the woman. So we're going to grab that. Uh, awesome. We'll grab this masher. Cool piece, and I've sold these as well. These are for uh, these are for ovens. Grab this vintage spoon with a strainer element to it. So that's a cool piece. 
only for a dollar. All right, so we're definitely gonna grab this. A lot of people pass these up, don't know what they are, but they are vintage coffee grinders. So just turn it like this to grind the coffee when you put the beans in here, and then you pull this out. So uh, I've sold some of these for up to like 70, 80. Some could even go up to 100 bucks. This one's in nice shape. So uh, we're gonna grab this. We'll get a, a better price than that once we do our bulk deal on it. All right, definitely grab this nice little old advertising tin. I don't normally see this particular one, so uh, I like this where it says Church and Co's on it. That's pretty cool. And this is an absolutely terrific price on the cast iron oven. Now it doesn't have all the pots and stuff, but for $2, you cannot pass up on this. I mean, it's absolutely an amazing piece. So let's grab this. And we're not forget that one too, we'll pick that up. All right, definitely grabbing this one. The egg sold here sign. Absolutely terrific, love this. Just so great, only three bucks too. So plan of attack, just break down these rooms into segments and chunks and just work each particular area. So now we're gonna go over to that particular spot. So we just walked around basically in a circle. All right, so here's two gold medal flower cookbooks. Uh, I really like this one here. Hey, prime time. <laughs> so, looks like this is prime time actually, back in the day. So um, we're gonna get these because even though each one of these individually wouldn't necessarily sell for that much, but if you combine them both together, you could theme them with a the gold medal. So um, you can see down there, gold medal. So. Uh, that'll be a good combo for someone. Here we go. All right, great recipe tin here. Uh, there's nothing inside of it, but it doesn't matter because someone's going to want that because it says Grammy's recipes on it and has the flowers on it. Double sided. In fact, four sided. So pick this up. All right, now be careful with these things because you see this says 1879, but it's not. It's actually a reprint. So. Uh, it's not that old, but this one is cool. This one is from the 1930s, uh, old Southern receipts. So we're gonna grab this one because receipts is the old way of saying recipes. And this is a good pickup. Reason I'm grabbing this one is because there are no comps for it at all. And people love Southern cooking. And especially if people think they could find some old, you know, secret recipes or something. Perfect. Okay, I always say to look for uh, imitation fruit. This scale is pretty cool too from Hanson. They made a lot of these scales. Uh, but the rules of the sale is if this bottom part of the tag is pulled off, it has been purchased already. So uh, someone already grabbed it. All right, so be sure to look up top. As we always say, this is the type of stuff that everyone misses because people generally don't look up top. So we're gonna get that. We're gonna get that. And we're gonna get this. All right, here's some Anchor Hawking Fire King Jadeite. Um, I'm not interested in picking this up right now, so uh, we've got too many other things to focus on than this. All right, now we talked about making sure you look up, but then also make sure you look down. So we've got these books here that this is not anything of, of interest really, but this has the same design as that one circular tin we picked up top and but this is cool it has some nice depth to it uh, nice vintage look to it so we're gonna grab this for just two bucks all right so here's the situation I've got to try to get up this narrow staircase to the top but the problem is you go ahead um, that's just not gonna be logistically possible right now uh, with the uh, boxes that you can see over here. So I planned in advance for this. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get these out of here safely and protected with uh, an estate sale dealer who I know and trust uh, a lot. All right, so we just tilt this on its side, pull this out so nothing breaks. And then all this stuff that was in the side, we're just gonna put right here and that's gonna free this box up. 
and I'm gonna put these cats in here so that they don't get damaged at all. Here we go. All right, so here you can see, we just put some tape across it, covered, taped it, so people can't see what's below, and then we'll keep it in a secure area. All right, let's head back in and go up those stairs. People are coming down those stairs drenched and sweaty. It is hot in there. It's fun, but uh, it's tough work in there. All right, let's get up these stairs now. I'm curious to see what's up there. Very um, short ceilings. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to get out of the way. I just don't want to make it go. What's going on? Yeah, I get it here. Oh, wow, definitely tight quarters. This isn't easy when you're 6'6", 250 pounds. But we'll do it. Oh. All right, this is cool. It's nice and heavy. Looks like a bunch of old coins in here. We got tokens, coins. Have like a, an oh, Asian guys. symbols on them. I would, I would take both Yeah, I am going to. This yeah. is ours. Sorry. Okay, okay. Definitely. Yeah. You know how good it goes. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. All right. Sorry. Well, let me know if you're not going to take it. I will take it. No, I got it. Just a matter of timing sometimes. Oh, look at this. Some cool English coins. Oh, this is sweet. Lots of stuff in here. Oh, look at this. It's like mini pennies. That is neat. It's like a necklace made of mini pennies. I squeeze by to go sure. down. I'll give you another one. Here's another one. Oh, you doing that? Uh oh. Uh oh. That's going to take some time to clean up. <laughs> And it's oh, hot up here too. With that thing. It is hot up here. Alright, I've just get over so we can get I, I will. I will. Okay, thank okay. you. Yep. Alright, I've seen enough. We'll just pick this up and research it later. Who knows? Alright, here's something else. Check this out. Oh. I'm on my knees here. Now, this is all this is all initials. So just gotta pull this out. And you can see all sorts of cool stuff in here. Look at this. Mrs. Primetime's gonna have a field day with this stuff. Wow. Brownie points for primetime. I'll take an elbow to you. <laughs> Alright, people love angels, so in here there's a whole lot of angel pieces. So I'm gonna grab these. I, I don't think we can miss on this. You know, we'll dump it out more and look later, but especially with Christmas time coming up, this is really, this is really perfect. Nice. It's really short, right? Thank God. <laughs> now, this is another box I found with wreath decorations. I don't want all this stuff, but here's another angel. And um, I could just toss this in with the Angel lot. The state sale dealers uh, will be cool with that. So uh, you could use that approach as well. I'm gonna also pick up these cat patches. Patches so well, especially in lots with a similar theme. And um, unfortunately, his uh, front legs have been cut off, but we'll leave them behind. Just checking inside the boxes underneath here, but it's all baskets and stuff. So I'm not gonna, not gonna get that. All right, so I'm gonna take a shot on these. Um, I think Mrs. Primetime's gonna like these. So we got the faces and we've got the focals. So cool. All right, so I'm taking a look at the stuff down here. And this is why you have to dig through boxes, take stuff out. Uh, I took everything out of here. There are stencil patterns. Uh, there's not anything in there I really want. But keep looking, keep looking. And this is gold right here. So this, no one wanted to dig down through here, but if you find anything that's exacto knives, I mean, it's just amazing. And to find one in this old wooden case with the label on it, it's awesome. Let's take a look in here. 
Oh my God, that's so sweet. Look at that, we have the instruction manuals in here. Oh my gosh, this is nice. Beautiful, so many pieces. This is terrific. So, we're gonna grab that. All right, uh, moving our way in this direction. We found some more lady faces. So we'll just pull these out and uh, add it to the box. All right, over here, we've got more X-Acto knives in here. Now this is not a vintage case, but we could still pull these out and uh, include them in a lot of other X-Acto pieces. I'm pulling the stuff from over there. Just pulled out another one. I love blue is my favorite color and I think Mrs. Mrs. Primetime is going to like these. Oh, it's so narrow. This is literally how I have to grab this stuff. Come on. All right. Definitely cool. Definitely cool. Another one. All right, let's see what we got here. Ooh, what's that? Oh, I think Mrs. Primetime's gonna love this. Hooks and toggles, oh my God. She is gonna have a field day. It's like hundreds of little pieces in here. Amazing. All right, so we're gonna continue with the blue theme. These are darker blues, as well as over here. Got some more in here. Beautiful pieces. Absolutely gorgeous. This is nice. Wow. If you want a visual from the other side, this is what it looks like. <laughs> you gotta get down sometimes. And it's hot. I don't know if Mrs. Primetime wants to spend the time disentangling this, but I'll pick it up for her just in case. All right, time to check out this side of the upstairs. This looks like the book area. Oh my gosh. Wow. It's a lot to look at. All right, so always look in the area where people are going to just walk past and turn like that, which would include right here. You see, we have the complete series of Boardwalk Empire, there's five seasons in there, right there, and everyone's just walking right by it. So, not anymore, they're all mine. I found some Betty Davis, though. Betty go. Davis size. This is a good one. Thanks, man. Yeah, I've got this. This video is going to be amazing when this one comes out. Yeah. So, I can't wait. I'm excited. Yeah. I, I, like I said, when, you got me through the pandemic. Uh, I'm happy I helped. Very, very helpful. Uh, thanks, man. My wife, my wife loves watching chipmunks. Oh, you saw the chipmunk battle with Daisy? Yes. <laughs> Daisy, we love Daisy. Oh, uh, thanks, man. I'll give her an extra belly rub for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, we're definitely going to pick this up. This is a nice set. It's another great one. How the West was won, and it's the ultimate collector's edition. So we'll pick this one up also. Someone's gonna love it. So what I'm really looking for here are complete uh, seasons and box sets that are valuable. Uh, There's another good one here, uh, Tara. So this is the complete series, one, two, and three. And yes, I always check them beforehand to make sure the DVDs are actually in there. All right, I think this is good luck. Cool Buddha statue. This thing is huge. <laughs> we are gonna get this. It is eight bucks. Put this in the box. Wow. Oh, he wants a, what's that? He wants a double tap on his belly. Check it out. <laughs> All right, this box is pretty much filled now. Now I normally bring two big boxes to sales, but I knew this place was gonna be packed based on the pictures I saw ahead of time. So I came prepared for this. I am hot and hungry and thirsty though. So we gotta get down those stairs and uh, 
we're gonna reset. All right, these stairs are pretty steep. It's gonna be a challenge getting down this with this box. We'll do it though. All right, box two, all taped up, wrapped up, ready to go for some more. All right, so two boxes down. I am heading into that room, you know, with all those books, and I'm really gonna need to concentrate and focus on there. And so, uh, of course, I brought some Mountain Dew, so I'm gonna need a Dew recharge, and uh, I got some water, and I got some snacks as well. So uh, time to refuel and get some more boxes. Oh my God, wow, that has a spot. All right, I'm recharged with the Dew. I have three new boxes with me, and it's time to head in for round three. Here's my three other boxes I took with me if you're just curious on the setup. You doing it? You getting this dragon? No. Okay. I like dragons. I just get what I, I think I can make. Yeah. It's too heavy for me to ship. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. All right, it's cool for me. Look at this old granny. This is interesting. Look at her. Yeah, I don't see a price on her, but. There's no price. I don't know how I could pass this up. I think I gotta grab the old granny. Yeah, I've never seen one like it. I say that with affection, by the way, old granny. So people misinterpret that. Of course. But yeah, that's a, it's a nice term of endearment. Okay. She's not, I don't know, I don't know if she's a PTFG, but. Oh, she's like PTFG. Granny's like me too, so okay. Should I put this in the refrigerator for Mrs. Primetime? <laughs> She's saying, yeah, she wants to go in the refrigerator. <laughs> this is another cool dragon piece, but it has a chip on it right there. Yeah? It costs $20, $30. Okay. Thanks, man. <laughs> cool. Okay. Let's see the dragon all around. Just so many people love dragon yeah. stuff. Yeah. What what is that? That's a tea bag. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. 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 Some tea. To eat tea? To eat tea? Oh, tow tea balls. Huh. Tow. Tea balls. What is it? What's that here? Is it tea? Uh, I think that's tao. T-A-O. Oh, tea. Yeah. Okay. okay. Let's see what this is. Another nice dragon piece. This one has a cool orb on it. I just love it. This is really cool. I love the scene on this, it's very old, you could tell, just from the look and feel of it, really big, and made in Japan. So, I'm gonna pick this up too. Now this is something I go for every single time. All these keys, people love old keys. So, it's a lot of 10 of them. Um, you can even see they have different uh, designs on them, different car company names on them. People just love this stuff. All right, so I'm gonna add this to the box. All right, again, on this side as well, a lot of this stuff is just, you know, bulk encyclopedias, these types of things. So I'm gonna pass on, on that type of stuff. All right, I'm going to pick up the Zane Gray's uh, popular author. This is a first edition from 1916. They have pictures on the front. So um, I'm just going to grab them. This one as well. And well, this one is falling apart, so we'll leave this one behind. It's really, really in bad shape. Yeah, we're actually going to leave this one behind too because it's pretty beat up. And when you open it up, you know, it's... It's just messed up, but these two are good, so we'll keep these. <laughs> All right, let's see another dragon, green dragon. I love green dragons. So we're going to pick this up, add this to the dragon collection here. These dragons just keep falling out of the sky for me. All right, for all the doll fans that watch the channel, I dedicate this to you. Uh, this is really neat. These are the holiday fair dolls. And so they stand up, they have a wood base. Socks definitely look cool. She's got the big eyes, which is definitely a big selling point. And also 
we have a brunette and we have a blonde. So I'm gonna pick up the pair and those would really sell well together. All right, look at this. We have one with black hair. So it's definitely cool. And also a redhead. <laughs> look at her eyes, that's awesome. Very cool. So uh, I'm gonna pick all four of them up. This is sweet. All right, took a look at these, but nothing here that's really that great. So we're gonna wrap up this section here. All right, time to head on into this last room here up top. All right, so I had to put the light on here because it's dark, but this is an area a lot of people are gonna miss because it's in this corner. It's the last room that most people are gonna go into. And you really gotta, you know, sit down and look through this. Now, we have all these Criminal Minds DVDs, so that's perfect to pick up. Um, we've got Prison Break, we've got The Tudors, we've got Lethal Weapon, one, two, and three. Uh, there's just a lot of different sets here. Blue Bloods, Weeds, so we're gonna go through this and make some nice lots. And actually, there's Lethal Weapon 4. Unfortunately, the Winds of War uh, outer case is too damaged, so we got pass on this one. All right, so here's all the DVDs I wound up picking out. So we've got all the Tudors, we've got Lethal Weapon 1, 2, 4, we got Prison Break, all these Blue Bloods, we've got Weeds, uh, the Jesse Stone 9 movie collection, and then all these Criminal Minds. Just amazing. All right, so over by the sewing stuff, I found these uh, Singer electric scissors. So I just had to come over to this outlet to test it out and see if it works. Perfect. Another pickup, can't go wrong with Singer, especially vintage. Nice old looking plug too, by the way. All right, so I do look for old rotary phones. This is from Northern Electric though. Um, I could probably get like 30, 35 bucks out of this, but I'm gonna leave this one behind. All right, time to head down the stairs one last time. All right, so she does have a hole in her head. The question is if I should still get it. I think I will. You know, someone may be able to do a ceramic repair on that. I'm not sure. Let me know what you think in the comments. All right, going in for round four. All right, back on the first floor. This is super cool, framed pipes. When have you ever seen something like that before? How neat. Now it's already been sold, someone pulled off the tag. But this isn't sold. All right, just a dollar for this. I'll definitely take this. Pretty neat. Lamps are sold. All right, head over to this area. There's some jewelry that's been left behind. I'm trying to find something Mrs. Primetime might like. No, I think she would like this with all the hearts on it. It's a little bracelet. I think so. It's based on stuff she's sold before, so we'll get that for her. All right, we've got one more room here. Some books, some lanterns. This thing looks pretty cool. Used for measuring. I love old wood and metal together. Always a good seller. Nice uh, decorative aspects on the side. Definitely gonna pick this up. Cool piece. All right, says the bathroom area 
then it goes into another area here now on the way in I think a lot of people walk past all this this is a lot of earrings I sent some pictures to Mrs. Primetime see if there's anything she's interested in or she might want to actually come here herself and check this out it's a lot of necklaces and stuff she's really not into uh, selling too much with necklaces right now so uh, but if we look over here and I come across a lot of this being in Syracuse New York but you'll find it in your region as well because a lot of people collect it it's um Circo wood pieces and this is a set of four so you've got the shoemaker you've got the uh, carpenter you've got the silversmith and you've got the printer and that's a great price three dollars for all four Circo pieces terrific definitely gonna grab that And here's another cool miniature I'm going to pick up. All right, so I just talked to Mrs. Primetime and she wants all of them. So we're just going to get every single earring on this side and on this side. That's a lot of earrings. All right, so I had to find something to put these in, so let's grab this box and we'll load them up in here. All right, so these have now been stripped clean, all the earrings removed. Uh, one wall is right here, and the other wall is right there. So Mrs. Primetime is going to have a little bit of uh, untangling to do, but uh, that's all right. Uh, she'll take care of it. All right, so I just circled around to the back of the house because this is the only way to get into the basement area. So check this out. How cool is this? Awesome. Let's head down here. Let's see what we got. Now I got to try not to fall down this flight of stairs. That wouldn't be good. Watch my head. It's taped off. Wow, check this out. A true gravel basement floor. <laughs> That's cool. All right, really not seeing much of value down here. It's a lot of old paints and stuff and, um, you know, cleaning items. So uh, just, just not much, really. Some plain glass. All right, well, at least it wasn't a wasted trip because I found something that looks pretty cool. Um, Look at this Santa Claus right here. <laughs> oh gosh. He looks like the uh, character in the old uh, Tom and Jerry cartoons. Remember, he would play the guitar with uh, Jerry. Now, he's got a little uh, separation here in the threads, which is why it was left behind, most likely. Uh, but Santa stuff sells, so I'm just going to ask Mrs. Primetime to sew that up. And we should be all good to go with this. You ready to come to Primetime Treasure Headquarters? All right, uh, this is one of the sheds. This has mostly been cleared out, although I was peeking around here yesterday during signups and there really wasn't that much stuff. Although I do like this uh, cat sign here and the one below it, cat sign stuff sells well. So uh, we'll definitely add these to the mix, even though this comes from home goods. Uh, both of them together uh, would be a nice pickup. All right, so this is the other barn, and um, this one, same kind of thing. I mean, not too much, except, you know, we've got some crates and stuff. But uh, there is a cat thing here. Now, I don't know. I'm kind of torn in terms of whether I should pick this up. It's not my style, but it's definitely old. It's heavy. It is cat related. Maybe someone would like this. Would you pick this up? Let me know in the comments. I'm gonna grab it and <laughs> we'll see what happens with it. And here is the second part, which is pretty much filled with all sorts of tools and vices. The vices have already been purchased because those 
do go for a lot of money, but if you could find those, definitely pick them up. I've done that in plenty of other videos. Same with anvils. Anyway, I'll just keep looking around here. All right, so I'm not really seeing anything here that I want, uh, but you know, people are thinking tools when they come in here. And uh, there is that bridge. This is a nice, cool sign someone might, uh, might wanna hang up. So I'm gonna pick this up, and it's cool. All right, folks, as you can see, we are loaded up. Absolutely the best estate sale I have ever been to. Uh, just in terms of the whole experience, the entrance and everything, and just where this is, and just the amount of items, the diversity of it. I mean, it was loads of fun. Plus the challenge of dealing with the heat and the small spaces. Absolutely love all that stuff. Uh, total price for everything came to $272. Uh, I think the prices on everything uh, were great overall. I mean, I'm going to make that $300 back just on some of those DVDs. So um, this is gonna be awesome. All right, we just beat the rain too. So away we go. Great memories on this one, everybody. I hope you all had fun and enjoyed it. If so, make sure you hit the like button and comment down below on your favorite finds.